In this video, we're going to take a look on how to create and calibrate your probe files. First step, we're going to go to File, New, and let's just for example, let's name this class probe. And we're going to leave it in millimeters. You can leave it in any you want. I prefer millimeters. And hit OK. Let's close off this uh, temperature compensation. Now when we start the program up, you're going to have this probe dialog box that comes in. This is what we're going to be working in. But I'm going to close this out because to open this up yourself, you would go to Insert, Hardware Definition, Probe. There's two different ways I'm going to show you to do this. If this is the first time that you're running the software and you're needing to set up everything, this is what it's going to look like. You'll have your probe file. You won't have anything graphically as far as what you're building and no probe defined. So to define this probe head, say for example, I'm going to, I'm going to choose a PH10T. You would highlight no probe defined, go to your drop down, and just look down through this list to find the pH 10 t So let's just go and scroll down. See, here's our probes. Let's look down here until we find probe pH 10 t And here it is. Probe pH 10 t you check that one time. There's your pH and T. It has joint angle A and B. And the next thing it's asking for is the next part of your hardware. So for this example, I'm going to use a TP20. So you just go down through your list once again and look for TP20. Probe TP20. Keeps, it will continuously build this as a graphical representation. Now that we have the TP20 in, it's asking you what's next. Well, what's next is our stylus. So we're going to hit, let's check the empty connection number one, go back up to the list, and pick what kind of tip or stylus that you have in there. For this example, I am going to use, let's use a two by two, I'm, I'm sorry, a two and a half by 40. 2.5 by 40. Check. There's our 2.5 by 40. Now once you completely get this built, it will automatically bring in the 0, 0 tip angle, which is straight up and down. If you've already got a probe file built, once you type in whatever description you're going to name it, all of this will be completely filled out with the exception of what kind of tip that you have in there. The probe head, in this case the PH10T, and the touch sensor is not going to change. What will change is your tip. So, let's go ahead and show you how to do the probe indexes. As stated, we have the zero, 0 angle already in. To add angles, I'm going to go over to where it says add angles and I get this grid that comes up. Now this grid is not the easiest thing in the world to see. So what you're going to have to do at this point would be, let's say if we went A0, let's go A90, B0. I would just have to follow the 90 on over to where I get to the B0 and check this box in the grid and it brings the tip in, A, A90, B0. It's a lot easier if you go to the A and B angles so let's go 90-90 and hit add angle. It does the same thing. So let's add a couple of probe angles in. Let's go 90, negative 90, 90, 180. Okay, once we're done, we will hit OK. And there's our list. We have our 0, 0, and the other four we just added in. Now the asterisk beside that tells me that it's not been calibrated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to measure. 
this dialog box will come up. Number of hits. This is the number of hits that you're going to take on your calibration sphere. You can change that as many as you want. At some point, it will become redundant on how many points you put in. 30 points are not going to yield any more than 15. If you keep it between 6 and 10, you should be fine. Free hit and retract. This is where it will move to and after each hit on the calibration sphere. Movement speed is the movement speed of the machine outside of its measurement routine. Touch speed is the percentage, these two are percentages. So you just leave it on two. Now you need to remember that if you're going to do the calibrations at 2% of, of the measuring speed, the movement speed, you need to leave it that in your, in your, when you're writing your programs. That's very important. We have four different options on the side. This is for a manual machine. You would manually take the hits on the calibration sphere. DCC, it will do it itself. Manual plus DCC, it's a combination of the two. And DCC plus DCC, what this will do is it centers it up more on the top of the sphere and does the measurement routine after that. I prefer to leave it on DCC plus DCC. The rest of this you can leave defaulted. Then we're going to go down to where it says measure. Now you'll get this box that comes up. And what this is essentially saying, asking, did you move the calibration sphere? If you did not move the calibration sphere, you can hit no and hit OK, and it will take off and start measuring whatever the, these that you want to be calibrated. If you hit yes, you're going to take one manual hit on the top of the sphere, hit OK, and then it will begin the measurement routine. Once it's done, once you hit OK, we'll hit OK to skip over that. This is something on my end. Now, I see that I've got four here that has the asterisk next to it. I did not calibrate those, but here's the one that I did. But if I need to calibrate the entire list, I highlight all of those, measure, follow the same steps. And once the calibration is done, it will show you that these have been now been calibrated. To see the results of these, while you have these, the probe file still in the same one that you've calibrated, go to results. You'll get the calibration results. And here's our standard deviation. It's what you're looking for. Now, since I'm in millimeters, anything up to 5,000 will be considered acceptable. Anything over 5,000, Five to seven thousand, you could. I would. It would just make me feel more warm and fuzzy if you was to go ahead and try to dial that in a little bit, check your probes, make sure there's no damage, clean it, make sure you got the right tip diameter in. Anything over ten thousand, you've got an issue. You need to stop what you're doing, start looking back over all the mentioned items. Is your tip damaged? Is your shank bent? Do you have contamination on the sphere? or your probe stylus itself. Once you're done with, if you're happy with this, you hit OK. Go back down and you hit OK again, and this will save the calibration results to this file name, class probe, or whatever you have it named as.